Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to hide items in your Windows Settings app. So let's say you don't want certain things to be shown. Let's say you have other users and you don't want them to be able to access maybe their desktop background settings or network settings. You could actually come in here and hide them. All right, so there's a couple ways you could do it. So if you have a Windows Professional version, you could use the Group Policy Editor. And if not, you could do it through a pretty simple registry hack. So this is Windows 11 Pro. So I'm going to show you both ways on this computer here. So first of all, you want to open the Group Policy Editor. So you could just type in start and do gpedit.msc. And that'll open the Group Policy Editor here. And from there, you want to go to Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, Control Panel, and then double click settings page visibility. And from there you want to enable it and here's where you're going to add your setting. So there are several ways to do this. So I have this sheet here with some examples. So you could use the show only if you want to show only a certain setting or hide if you want to hide a specific setting. So you use show only and hide and then the setting name after it. So to get the names that you use for the settings, you could go to the Microsoft website here and use this URI scheme reference. It has all the categories here. If you scroll down, it tells you what to use. So I'll put a link in the description for this so you could check that out. All right, so we're gonna go over a couple examples here. So let's say we want to hide the background option. So let's see what that looks like real quick. So under personalization, background. Okay, so we're going to copy this, paste it in here, apply, go back to the settings, personalization, and now there's no more background. And sometimes when you do it, it won't delete it, but actually kind of disable it. So here's sign in options. So let's go to the settings here again, under accounts, accounts, sign in options. So it's here and you click on it to get your sign in options. So if I hide it and I go back, accounts, accounts, sign in options is still here, but I click on it and it does nothing. So I'm not sure why sometimes it'll hide it and sometimes it'll just disable it. Okay, so now we're going to try the show only feature here. So I'm going to copy this. So we're going to show only apps and features, apply. And you can see we just have apps and everything is hidden. But one thing I've noticed, if we change this to system, It just kind of closes out the settings there. So it doesn't seem to work for the system setting, at least for this computer here. All right, now we'll show you one example here where you could do more than one. So we're going to show only proxy settings and Ethernet settings for the network. So you can see now we have network and Internet with the Ethernet and proxy settings only. Okay, so let's disable this here and make sure we got the settings back to normal. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to do it in the registry. Okay, so we'll open reg edit. So this will be for Windows Home users, or you could do it in Pro with the registry too if you want. Okay, so we're going to navigate to this key, which we'll is just copy and paste. All right, and then under Explorer, we need to make a new string value with this name here, Settings Page Visibility with the capital letters and no spaces. So right click on Explorer, right click on a blank spot, new string value, paste that in. And then we'll double click it to open it. So now let's try, let's say, hide the background option here. And you shouldn't have to restart Explorer or the computer should be instant. Personalization and no display. So you kind of see it works the same way. 
So if you want to change, you could come back here, put in a different value, or just delete this value to bring it back. Or you could just come back here and delete the whole string value altogether. Now things are back to normal. Okay, so I'll put some of this information in the description so you could kind of get the uh, idea of how the syntax works. And then I'll put a link to that Microsoft page so you have all the values and then you can try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.